Okay, folks, we have come to Brady Lane. Yep, Brady Lane. Intersection of Cranbrook and Brady Lane. That's right. And this street right here is Brady Lane, and it goes atop a hill called Oak Hill. And it's known around town, it's pretty beautiful here because it's got some mansions that line both sides of this lane, but the runners, it's known for its hill. And we are in Bloomfield Hills. There are rolling hills here. It's certainly not mountainous or, any, mountainous or anything like that, but it is, uh, it is hilly. You can hear my Garmin tell me I'm supposed to run right now. I'm gonna walk just a few more steps because it's a one-way ticket up this hill. I don't walk up this thing, I run up this thing. I've got a long relationship with Brady Lane and Oak Hill. <laughs> and by the way, this is one of uh, several crossings over the Corton River. Actually, the Rouge River, which flows into Corton Lake that I showed you earlier. This little river flows through the outskirts, outskirts of Detroit and empties in the, into uh, uh, the Detroit River near Lake Erie. It's a beautiful little stream here, but it really gets large enough down by the Detroit River where Henry Ford set up his first production plant in which the harbor alone could take these huge iron ore ships. But up here, it's just a little stream. All right, way up there is a beautiful manor. And now from here for the next several miles is all dirt roads. And I've got to get to the top of Brady Lane. We'll see you at the top, folks. Get up this hill. Get up this hill. Here's one of the manors along Brady Lane. Excuse the herky-jerkiness, but I'm not stopped. <laughs> There's some manors up there and there. May not be able to see too well, but we're set back on those hills. And here's where Brady Lane curves up and to the left. About 40% there, almost. Looking back, Beautiful vista. Stop just for a second. Come on, let's go. Oh, that felt good. Train's paying off. Okay. Look at the blooms on these trees. Spring is here. Boy, that felt really good. That did not feel so good several weeks ago. Training is paying off, folks. And you know what? I keep it up. Bray Lane will be easier and easier. Just like any of your training. You keep at it, you're persistent, keep a positive attitude, it'll all come together. All right. You know, I'm listening to a bunch of podcasts and uh, recapping the Poco Loco. So it was one week ago today we ran Poco Loco, <laughs> and I'm reliving it here in Michigan. It's a lot of fun hearing all my friends. Oh, what a blast we had. And tomorrow is Mother's Day. Don't forget to remember your mom. <laughs> and uh, no matter who the mom is, you know, you know, there's so many moms, your wife or your daughters might be mothers and your grandmothers. Yeah, your sisters might be mothers, but it's Mother's Day. It's a beautiful day to celebrate them for all the work and love they do to take care of all of our families. Make sure you certainly remember your own mother, and but remember all the mothers out there. Don't forget them. It's a great time to celebrate your family. It's gonna be my first year without my mom, but she is here. She's in my heart where she always is anyway. And so it's not time for sadness. So we're gonna celebrate her and uh, how much we love her. And so no matter where you are, you know, hug your mom, okay? And remember all the mothers, it's a great day. And then, you know, on uh, Monday's a special day for my family also because my son will turn 17. 
So it's quite a weekend. <laughs> now, my son Alex, sometimes he feels like he's getting ripped off because he shares sometimes a Mother's Day weekend with his birthday. <laughs> uh, but we make sure it's extra special. I wonder if I'm uh, pointing you right into the sun. Sorry about that. <sighs> well, I think I've blown a few walk breaks, but that's okay. I'm walking off Brady Lane here. I'm going to cross the, the famed Woodward Avenue, which is... Uh, a major thoroughfare that goes all the way to downtown Detroit. It's on a southeast-northwest angle. And uh, this is the old, uh, what do you call it, cable car route. Even before that, it was the old uh, horse and buggy route. It's a major artery that uh, was very important in the commerce and the development of Detroit and all the surrounding areas. Now, it's a boulevard up here in Bloomfield Hills. But what's funny, despite all these wealthy uh, mansions and buildings, the roads are all dirt. <laughs> They're like carriage roads with beautiful little stone uh, embankments. So it's really pretty. So we're going to go across Woodward Avenue here and go up into an area that uh, I call the furthest point from home. Because it's the furthest point from home, at least for this route. And it was very important for me when I first started running because this was quite a ways for me to get up here when I first started out. So now it's a salute to back to those days and as well as a salute to all the things to look forward to. So come on along. 